Welcome back to the Los Angeles Lakers, my GM. Time to do episode three. So, the Utah Jazz have offered us Rudy Gobert. Pretty big decision to make, but I think it's a fairly simple one. You're not going to get a player like him. I think we should go for it. We would be giving up Lance Jr. and Anderson. Anderson is a pretty easy guy to let go of. I mean, he's a great depth guy, but, you know, you can find another one like him. Lance Jr. is going to be a tough one to give up, but, you know, if we had him, Noel, uh, Kuzma, and Gobert, we'd just be way too clogged at the forward and center spot, especially because we got Zubak up and coming as well. Um, let me just go to front office. Let me just go to the Jazz, offer him a deal, or offer the Jazz a deal for him. And uh, what do they have? It should be the same. And see, we... Oh, no. I don't want to give up that. Uh, Kuzma. There we go. Um, yeah, so Kuzma and Anderson for Rudy Gobert. And we'd even get a second round pick. I don't know how this deal... I, I don't know why the Jazz would do it. But, you know, they are. So I'm not going to think twice about it. Uh, Anderson, that trade value is nice, though. You know, that really came in clutch. They're getting an expiring deal. And, um, well, two expiring deals. Maybe that's why they're doing it. You know, maybe to clear up some cap space. Who knows? Rubio's at the end of this year, too. So that's another $15 million they're going to let go of. Exum, another $6 million, $10 million from Terrence Ross. Yeah, maybe they're just looking to make a push in free agency. Um, who knows? Maybe he just doesn't like the team anymore. But Rudy Gobert, it seems pretty straightforward to make this deal. Lance Jr., Kyle Anderson for Rudy Gobert. Um, yeah, I, I don't I don't know if there's anything else to do except just say, okay, we will make the deal and the Utah Jazz have agreed to your trade offer. Unbelievable. So, so this is the lineup with Gobert. Uh, Ball, Curry, Ingram, all going to play 30 minutes a game. You know, average. You know, it's going to go up and down, obviously. Kuzma, 28 Go Bear 33. Caldwell Pope is going to have to play a lot, a lot of minutes until Noel comes back. We got Rondo Zubak down there. Uh, Udall, I changed to a power forward. His overall actually went up, which is nice. And then normal power, we're going to have to put in the lineup as well. So how long till we get Noel back? One to two weeks. All right. And then what I said I wanted to do, go after this young guy in free agency. B potential, 20 years of age and 70 overall. Uh, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, he does want some money, though. We wouldn't be able to give him, like, a minimum deal, I don't think. Yeah, no, so how much does he want a one-year deal? I'd be okay with that, just a one-year deal for this season. Uh, let's give him that. I will do the training for that, and I guess just go to simulation. I am actually quite fond of this um, power forward we just got. Um, just in terms of defensively, shot I, I mean, free throws really low. I did make sure to jack that up. Hopefully that can improve to at least 70. He's only 20. He's got a couple years to improve that, right? Um, but dunking, he's actually decent. 80, 70, you know, 45, pretty decent. And then if we go down here to the um, rebound, definitely not amazing in box out. But again, he's 20. You can really work on that to get that up. Um, on ball, you can work on. But post defense is 80. You know, help defense is 82, uh, block is 84, hustle and uh, stamina are there, I do believe, uh, with stamina, yeah, so I like him, 20 years of age, I think he's a good project to have on the team. Now, looking at the standings, um, the Thunder, I want to show you this, because I did notice this going through teams, um, if we go to the Oklahoma City Thunder, Westbrook is injured for two to four months. So that could come in clutch for us to move up in the standings. Uh, yeah, uh, what can I say? Chemistry took a hit, but I'm glad we made it now because we get an extra two weeks to work on that chemistry before the trade deadline. You know, after the All-Star break, March 1st, um, from then on till the end of the season, the chemistry should be pretty damn high. So um, continue scouting here. How? Yeah, we've scouted a lot of people. Um, we should have pretty good intel once we get to the draft to make a pick. And we didn't have to give up our first round pick to make that trade either. So we have our first round pick. If for whatever reason this project doesn't work out and we end up missing the postseason, we've still got a first round pick. So 
that is nice. Even if we do make it, hopefully we can get another guy like Webb, who's decent uh, potential for the future. Seth Curry is injured, though. A pulled left hamstring. That is bad. We don't really... Oh, yeah, we do have Pope. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we got Pope and Osman. That should be decent enough for now. Osman still has a minus one for morale. I do not understand why his morale is so bad. I really don't. So Paul, Pope is going to have to play more minutes. Osman, yeah, Osman, and we have a lot of minutes to give out. Powell's going to. Udall is going to have to. Um, fuck it. Zubak is going to have to. And Rondo. So 18 minutes for basically everybody coming off the bench. Um, pretty even minutes all the way around, actually. All the starters and then all the backups are getting around the same, you know, minutes. We could even play him, this young Ike guy, but 70 overall, um, we are looking to make the postseason, so I'd rather go for a bit of a winning team than that. So far, we are, um, did we make the trade before Philly? So, 2-2 two and two since the trade, but again, the chemistry did take a pretty big hit. So, I'm going to wait till after the kind of all-star day to really get a grasp of the team. Noel is healed that is going to be huge for the team. So, uh, what do we do? What do we do? You know what I'm going to do? I just want to check. What happens if we put him to power forward? He's 78 overall as a center. What if we put his position to power forward? Um, so, 79. It actually does go up. Okay, nice. Because then we can just... We don't have to take minutes away from the young Zubak. We can take him away from the older Udaw and just upgrade that position. So there we go. Obviously, Noel is going to be the sixth man, and he's going to get more minutes, though. Rondo is going to go down. Give those to Noel. Osman is going to go down. I still want him coming. You know, I want him up in the rotation seven, but he can get a few less minutes. And then Powell and Zubak. So we can give those to Noel. Give him 30 minutes a game. Coming off the bench as the sixth man of the year. Hopefully, he could win that. That would be kind of cool if he won that, actually. And then also after the All-Star break, we can check to see if Gobert is still in the running for uh, Defensive Player of the Year. And, you know, while we're here, let me just go to Contract Extensions. Shumpert, I don't... No, I'm going to wait till the offseason, I think. Is his defense really that good? It's not amazing. I'm going to see if we can get a better guy in the offseason. Uh, Zubak, I'll get him to a two-year deal, sure. Um... Yeah, two two point seven for another two seasons. Why not? A relatively cheap contract if we keep him. Um, I was thinking about it. We could even trade him and maybe Powell and our first round pick to move up in the draft. Possibly, you know, that's an option to get an even better player because we've scouted so many players. We're gonna have a good grasp on who we can take, and we're gonna have a good grasp on what type of guy we're gonna get back. Uh, we're still eighth in the conference. The chemistry honestly hasn't really went up, which is, it is concerning. Osman, where's Osman? Still minus one. I don't get it. Like, does he want to be on the team? Where's that screen? Um, he's uncertain. Why? I, I don't get it. I, I really, maybe he's not loyal, but I wish the game, I wish you could interact with players and, you know, talk to them. Why aren't you happy on the team? So, I, I wish you could. But as of now, let's go to award races. Kyle Lowry. Huh. That's interesting. Rookie of the year. Holy, they're all injured. Trey Young, I guess you have a good chance to take over. Um, sixth man of the year. I would love it if it went to um, Noel. Defensive player of the year. Gobert has went down. Still a lot of time. Those rebound. He can get another rebound a game. Hopefully, uh, his assist can go up as well. Um, I'd, lo I'd love it if we could bring um, a, a trophy to Los Angeles. Obviously, we're not bringing a title this season. But if we could just bring a trophy, an award to Los Angeles, put some spotlight on some of our players, that would be quite nice. Curry is healthy. So, we finally have a 100% healthy team. I'm going to put him back in the starting rotation. This is going to be interesting, though. Who do we take away minutes from? Osman, what are you putting up this season? Is he putting up good numbers? Career stats, five. He's shooting decent, but I'm going to bring him down to like eight points per game, and I'm going to put him down in the rotation, unfortunately. 
Um, Zubak, yeah, I'm going to put you down as well. And Rondo as well. We have to find minutes for Pope. Uh, you know, Noel, yeah, okay, we can do that. So, you know, 28 to Noel. Uh, we can give 20 to Pope. I like that kind of split rate there. Fully healthy team. Chemistry hopefully can get up to 80. And hopefully that plus a healthy team can get us up in the standings. I don't want to play the Rockets or Warriors in the first round. I would like to make it to the second round if possible. That would be quite nice. Uh, more scouting. So we're basically going to get down. Or we're going to get down to like 40 scouted perhaps. Which is really nice. So we're going to get a good player. Hopefully we can get a good player. 37 wins. Yeah, okay. So we're pretty set on a playoff spot. Let's go to the standings. Um, the one below us is 33. So guaranteed unless we have a huge injury. Uh, hopefully not. We're going to make the postseason. We can potentially jump over... Oklahoma, and then, you know, Minnesota, uh, San Antonio, New Orleans, probably not unless we really go on a winning streak here, but um, you never know, you never know, I'd like to jump over the Thunder, that would be amazing if we could do that, just get over the Thunder, get to uh, six in the standings, fuck, god damn it, Go bear a spinal injury season. Shit. I have put Noel back to center. Um, I put Udall back in the rotation. I'm lucky to have him. He came in clutch with um, the injuries this season. He really has. And you know, for the future, Noel is better as a power forward. So we might actually put him over Kuzma and then have Noel... And go bear with starting. That would be an unbelievable defensive front court mixed in with Ingram if he can improve defensively. And then have Ball and Curry for shooters and offense. That could be an amazing lineup. Have Kuzma coming off the bench with Pope. You know, Osman potentially of the future. Who knows? But um, just something to look forward to. I love having a team where you can do that. You can make different rotations if we want to. If Kuzma's much better offensively, and not as good defensively, we could put Noel coming off the bench to have a great bench uh, defensive unit, right? Um, but go bail. A season injury. Luckily, I didn't give up my first round pick. Seth, Seth Curry is now injured. I'm going to leave that day to day. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave him in. Yeah, okay. It's, it's healthy anyway. Thank God. But I, I really want to make sure we win a couple games. I want to get to that sixth seed. I don't want to face the Rockets or the Warriors in the very first round of the playoffs. That would not be a fun experience. It really would not. So um, hopefully we can. We're only one game behind him. Let's get on a little bit of a winning streak. Just a little bit of one. The Rockets Golden State. Another Golden State game coming up. We probably, yeah, no, we're not going to be able to. That was a tough, that's a tough end of the season. And the San Antonio Spurs. Yeah, we're going to end up seventh. It is what it is. You know, we won set. Uh, I, I should have took him out, I guess, but, um, yeah, so Curry won MVP again. Marvin Bagley won Rookie of the Year, 11, 9, 5, or basically 12 and 10. Uh, a block and a half, a steal and a half, damn. Uh, Jeremy Lin coming off the bench, sixth man of the year, 13 points a game. Drummond, yeah, Gobert got injured. Randall, ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Randall gets most improved. Would you look at that? Uh, Kerr gets coach of the year. I don't think we're going to have anybody. Lakers, Lakers, no, doesn't look like it. Maybe defensive, even though he's injured. Nope, he doesn't even get that. Damn. And uh, we don't even get anybody on the rookie team. All right, so going into the postseason, we have the Houston Rockets in game number one. Or in round number one, and if we win that, we got to go against OKC or New Orleans Pelicans. Damn. Crazy end to the season. Um, Ingram's an 82 now. Ball, he still hasn't improved too much. I mean, I'm not going to panic. He still has the offseason to improve, so, and he still has that A potential. Not going to worry about that at all. Um, but yeah, let's just check out the statistics. Ball. 10 points a game, 8 assists, 5 rebounds. Not shooting incredibly consistent. But like I said, I'm not going to hit the panic button yet. He has the A potential. 
He had the potential. Uh, Caldwell Pope, nine points a game. Not too concerned. Again, he's a defensive guy. A steal a game. And again, it's tough to judge defense because we can't look at footage. All we have is stats. Uh, Kuzma, 14 points a game, 5 rebounds, pretty efficient. I'll take that, I'll take that. Noel, a block a game, block and a half, steal, 7 rebounds, 8 points. That's what I'd like, that's what I'd like out of him. Ingram, 11 points per game. Next season, he's going to have to shoot more. We're going to have to get him to shoot more. We need that point per game to go up. Zubac, uh, 50%, 4 rebounds, 6 uh, points, nothing crazy, nothing crazy at all. Um, Osman, ah, uh, we might end up, or his morale isn't bad anymore, 75 overall, you know, he might develop into a backup, who knows, uh, Seth Curry, 13 points a game, very efficient though, very efficient, um, he could even, he could end up being a third option, only because of how efficient he is, giving us, you know, 13 to 15 points a game, 45%, from uh, deep, that could be a, a third man. And, you know, the good thing about that is he's cheap as well. Uh, Gobert, kind of a, you know, Utah slash Los Angeles. Can't look at his statistics too deep, but 10, 10, and 2.5 and 1 point. Or, uh, that's turnover then. Almost a steal per game. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Um, that power forward I picked up is already improving. 71 overall. That is very nice to see. Looks like he he might actually become a backup power forward of the future. Which would be great. If we could get Osman to do that as well. You know, a young backup shooting guard. A young backup power forward. Maybe Zubac, a young backup center. You know, we're a young up and coming team. Really, uh, really impressed by the just the team so far. Next episode, we're going to be going against Houston. Expect to get swept. We don't have Gobert. We don't have Gobert. And we don't have that good of a lineup anyways, but even Gobert made it that much better. Having an 86th overall. That's tough. That's a tough pill to swallow. But, you know, just looking at the future, Ball, Curry, Ingram, Noel, Gobert, coming off the bench, Kuzma, Pope, um, Osman, we can maybe even change to a small forward. Zubak and um, Ike. We got a damn good team going into the future. So I can't wait to do the uh, first round of the playoffs. Who knows? Anything can happen. And then I can't wait to get the off season done. Um, yeah, and then things are really going to get going because front office player contracts. 2022 is going to be a huge year. Because Ingram's up in 21, but I think we might be able to get him a, a qualifying deal. If we do, then we're going to get Ingram, Ball, Gobert, um, Kuzma, all in one season to sign. That's going to be intense. And then in 21, we've got Curry, potentially Ingram, Pope, and Noel. Those two years are going to be tough financially, especially 22, because we're going to have to give Noel Pope... Uh, Ingram, Curry, uh, Osman, new contracts. By 2022, we can, either we're going to get a good discount on Pope, Noel, etc. in 21, and we're going to be able to pay Ball and all them, or we might have to get rid of some of our depth. Either way, we're going to have a strong team. And either way, we're going to have almost everybody on the team bird. We're going to have the bird rights, which is huge. Is there a way to check that from here? I believe there is. Um... Bird year, so three years, um, two years. Next year, we will have it. Perfect. Noel, we do. Kuzma, um, we will when we have to sign him. Perfect. Pope, um, we don't. So that could, that could, um, be tough. Ball, we will. Uh, Zubac, we will. Osman, I don't know, we won't. Curry, we won't, but all the important people, go Gobert, we will. All the important people will be able to go over and spend luxury money on them. I'm excited. Hopefully you are too. If you have any suggestions on what I should do going up against Houston and the lineup, let me know. This is what I got right now. Curry, he's probably going to have to come out. 74 overall, not good enough, right? Um, I'll change that in off camera. Show you next episode. We'll go over Houston's roster. Get round one done. Hopefully we can win it. You never know. Thank you for watching, though. I will catch you in the next episode.